All right. Today, I've got an HP Pavilion DV7 6C80 US. This is a pretty nice notebook. It's got the Intel Core i7 2670QM processor running at 2.20 gigahertz. 17.3 inch screen, it comes with 8 gigabytes of memory, it's DDR3 memory, it's got a 750 gigabyte hard drive running at 5400 RPMs, it's got a Blu-ray disc read drive, and it will read and write DVDs and CDs. This one has the Intel HD Graphics 3000 card, which has 1 gigabyte of video memory. Um, this laptop has HDMI ports. Let me rotate it here for you guys. I'll tilt it down here. Alright, so we've got a VGA, HDMI, Gigabit NIC, so 10100 Gigabit. These ports are USB 3.0 ports, although they're not blue. I thought all USB 3.0 ports were supposed to be blue, but it doesn't look like it. Then, if we look here at the three headphone or 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks, you have one for the microphone and two for headphones, which is something different. And these are marked SS USB. Uh, you got your gigabit neck, HDMI, and your VGA. Cooling vent. It does look like it has a nice panel for working on the RAM, hard drive, wireless card. All that is embedded in here. This unit does come with the Beats Audio. So it does have a HP triple base reflex subwoofer got this different style battery. Let me turn it to the side here so you can see. It arches the laptop up, which is actually kind of nice. So when you set it like that, it actually sits at an angle. It's nice for typing. Um, turning it around toward the back here, you can see it's got the little Hugh Packard. It also lets the speakers out a little bit in that crack there in between the, uh, the monitor. And then you've got the HP symbol that lights up when the unit is powered on. On this side, we have the Kingston lock port, power port, Bluetooth drive, and two standard USBs. Again, we'll go like this. Two standard USBs. I say in the Blu-ray. Moving up toward the front, you can see we have the Beats Audio logo memory card reader and the secondary port where the sound comes out although I believe that the speaker array is here now this unit also features a fingerprint reader which is kinda nice it's got a trackpad here with a disableable feature so if you want to turn it off. It also has a lit trackpad which is kind of nice. I wish it did have a lit keyboard. The only other real thing that I did not like on this laptop, these buttons here, I, I, I like the standard layout. This layout is a bit, it, it's a bit not standard if you want to say. It just, it doesn't feel great. Alright, well, let's go ahead and power it up here. And we'll let you see what it looks like. Now I did, I set it up to hibernate this time, so 
Just in case you guys are wondering what's going on, of course, it says it's resuming Windows. I did set it up to hibernate. I was trying not to hibernate function. And it does come up. You can swipe to log in. See a little fingerprint reader down there flashing. So the unit is started. Now, I want to talk about a few of the things that I I like and I don't like. So the pros and the cons of the machine. The Beats Audio is really nice. It puts out really good sound for a computer laptop small speakers that are built into it it does have that subwoofer which makes it like a little bit of bass it's not a ton of bass but it's nice to listen to music it does come through with a different um, if you want to call it a more high fidelity sound the HD video camera that it has on board um, built in up here Let's see if we can zoom in on this, let you guys see this here. Yeah, HP Pro Vision or HP True Vision HD with a microphone array up top. One there. One there. Your microphone arrays. Like I said, the screen is pretty good. It's not a full HD screen. It's the 1600 by 900 screen. <clears throat> Like I say, but it is still a pretty good screen. It is the glossy version. The one thing that I'm going to say that I did not like about this laptop was originally when you first get it, you get the trackpad and you really have to press really hard to get the mouse to move around the screen. I don't like that. So I had to go in and you can go into the uh, mouse options and change the sensitivity on that. That fixed that part pretty well. I really do miss a backlit keyboard. If it had the backlit keyboard, honestly, this unit right here would be probably a keeper. Um, personally, I'm, not that I do a lot of gaming, but some of the games that I play, you might want a little bit of a darker room. It helps to have the keyboard backlit. <clears throat> not that this is a gaming machine, but of course you're gonna play some games on it. So, let me think here. Let's do a full We'll do a full, I'll shut it down for you guys so you can see it go down and then I'll actually bring it up full so you guys can see the full boot sequence. Alright, now it is down. I'm going to go ahead and power it back online. It's finally ready to take the log on. So let's log on. As you guys can see at this point, that 5400 RPM hard drive, I definitely think is hampering the system. Like I said, it is a Core i7 processor. This machine should be much faster. 
in my opinion, than what it is. Let's see, but now it's back online and it's ready to go almost. It's still refreshing the desktop there, putting the icons back. We still have a spinning symbol. Alright, now it's done. So, as you can see, the laptop definitely has some quirks, but for the base price that you're going to pay for it, which currently is between $8.99 and $8.49, I can find the laptop online. So, and that's as of 6-7-2012, which is today. As you can see here, the lights right here are for your power on the top and the hard drive light down there on the bottom. It just, it stays on on this laptop. Eventually it will go out and the hard drive will calm down, but it will do that quite often and just kind of sit there and burn hard drive time which makes the unit really slow if I, if I can get the laptop over that that would be great but so far with all the checks and everything I've done um, I've tried removing all the antivirus and things like that and it's not really making much of a difference with the unit so all in all for the price that you pay I don't know if I would fully recommend it. As you can see, the hard drive kind of flashed there for a minute, and then it came right back on. Um, but all right, now it just loaded the Intel Turbo Boost monitor, which is an aftermarket install. Truly, I did put that on myself. But the hard drive flash just still on. Even before I started installing software and everything else, that hard drive light stays stays on pretty intensely. As you can see, it flashes off for a second, but it's right back on. Alright. Now, this is where I consider it ready to go. Now, true enough, currently, the way that it is running... It is not running in the <clears throat> the maximum power configuration. So what I'm going to do, we're going to change the power configuration. Let us get in there. All right, we're going to go to the high performance. You guys see in here. High performance power plan. So the system is now running on. Now with it set up like that, we're gonna do another reboot. We're gonna shut it down. See if we can pick up a little bit of speed. down we'll power it back up
unit shows that it is online. Let's see here. All right now it's ready to take the fingerprint. All right, so we swipe to log on and we're just waiting for it to go ahead and finish starting up here. Kind of still spinning. All right, that's done. We'll rotate back to the side here. As you can see, it's still just locked on. One of the other things on this laptop, it does have the hard drive protection, the HP 3D protection. So if you do move it and tip it, it does park the hard drive and a little light will go orange. Um, another nice feature that I'll give it definite props for is the HP Cool or uh, Smart Cool feature. Cool Sense is what it's called. Excuse me. That basically sets the laptop up so if you're sitting it on your lap or it's at not at the standard angle the computer will adjust the fans to keep the machine a little bit cooler sitting in your lap which is nice um, another thing that was kind of a little bit difficult for me was when I first get the laptop the predefined settings for your function keys to let you turn your volume up volume down uh, turn your wireless WAN off and on those were set where you could just push them and the F keys were the you did not have to press your function key to get to those your function keys you would have to press the function or I should say your F keys so if you want to press F F12 you actually needed to press function and then F12 I thought that was kinda of backwards everybody's pretty much used to oh if I want to use one of those function keys I press the function button and press the key unless it has a dedicated key. This is one of the other things that I ran into, like I said, that I didn't like. But other than that, for what it is, again, if I had to give it out of five stars, I would give the machine two and a half, possibly three. I say it does have a lot of good. The hard drive I don't like, but if you're tech savvy, you could swap that out, put maybe a hybrid SSD hard drive in there, make the boot up faster, make it able to access, you know, caching of files a little bit quicker. But other than that, like I say, the 8 gigs of RAM is nice. The machine, when running, I'll let you look at the task manager. It's running right now, and it is currently running at... 1.79 gigs of memory in use out of 8 gigs so it's pretty good the screen is decent for what it is um, I do wish that this laptop could have come with 3D but I know for the price I'm asking for a lot uh, if you like the video like it on YouTube Thanks a lot for watching.